we're looking for Britain's best undiscovered biking roads. We asked you to nominate them, and loads of you did. We're picking five to ride, and when we've done that, we'll choose the one of those five that we like the best. Pfizer Down is looking for Britain's best undiscovered biking roads. A few weeks ago, we asked you to nominate them, and many of you have. We're riding five of them. When we're finished, we will choose the one that we like the most and give the reader who nominated it a prize, uh, which is a Kawasaki watch, a Kawasaki jacket, and two VIP passes to a BSB round. Now, last week we rode the B6047 in Leicestershire and the B5013 in Staffordshire. Now we're in South Wales, in Aberdare, to try the A4233. This was nominated by reader Jamie Foster. Thanks very much. Um, now we're doing this on five different Kawasaki models. Last week it was the ZX10R and the Z900. We've got the Vulcan S, the Ninja 650 and the Z650 to go. I've chosen the Z650 for this because it looks like the twistiest route uh, of, of the five that we're going to ride. Probably the twistiest route we could find, I think. It properly doubles back on itself, this road, as it climbs out of this valley town. It looks amazing. The only slight concern, I think, is that it's an A road where the others were B roads. So let's hope it's not too busy. But let's go and find out what it's like. We decided to come here as soon as we saw the corners on the map. It starts with a series of four or five bends which double back on themselves as the road climbs steeply out of Aberdare. It's the kind of pattern of tarmac you might expect to see in the Alps. We were slightly worried it might be busy because it's an A road, but it wasn't, there was just the odd car. Now there was a slight frustration in the first section of bends in the shape of a temporary traffic light. A section of kerb had crumbled down the hill on one side so the road had been reduced to one lane between two corners. But in fact, it didn't hamper the enjoyment it just meant a brief wait and a chance to get to the front of what traffic had gathered at that light. So you got a clear run of the bends ahead. We're riding each of these roads on a different Kawasaki model. We've already done the Z900 and the ZX10R. Now for this one, I'm on the Z650, which I chose precisely because of these bends and because this bike is tiny. It somehow lost 17 kilograms compared to its predecessor, the ER6N. You could mistake it for a 300 when you sit on it until you feel the punch of the engine and it's exactly the kind of nimble handling that you want for this sort of road. At the top of those really twisty bends, you get another right-hander and a stunning view across the hills to the other side. That's what this road is, a steep climb out of one valley town and then down into another with a stretch of bends high up in the hills in between. It's only five miles, but there was no boring point in it. It's bend after bend with views across the valley all the way. When you begin the descent into Merdi, it straightens out with what looks like a sheer drop beside the road, giving you another fantastic view across the valley to windmills on the other side. This road is stunning and the real deal, a brilliant off the radar biking road, not hampered by a 50 mile per hour limit anywhere. After I'd finished, I turned back and I did it again the other way and I would have kept doing that all day if we hadn't had more roads to try. We've just ridden the A4233 in South Wales from Aberdare to Mardi, and I was really impressed with it. You can see how amazing the view is. It's only a five mile stretch of road, rising from one valley town over a mountain, descending into another valley town. It starts with a series of four or five really tight hairpin bends, the road doubling back on each other as it climbs the mountain. It's a bit like being, in, it feels a bit like being in the Pyrenees, but it's a little bit chillier. Um, and then you've got sweeping bends all the way from Aberdeer to Mardi. There's no boring stretch of this road. There's no bit of it that isn't fun to ride. And it was fantastic to ride it on this bike as well, the, the Z650. It's just so small and nimble. Um, and it, as you get to the uh, descent into Mardi, you then got another fantastic view over the valleys and a few more hairpin bends. As I say, I think it's going to be difficult to find a better road a better motorcycling road in the UK I think will be hard pushed to. 